Welcome to the weekly roundup on SA Football TV. I'm Tommy Javor with Trevor Gregg and Sean Jacobson, the Diff Jacobson. Diff, you're in for the first. Thanks for that. You're in for the first time since Rosewater got expelled. Expulsion would be the correct word, isn't it? Suspended. Is it? Question. Um, yep. Yeah. Expelled from the competition for the year. Um, we don't. We, I don't know how much you can say. Thoughts, feelings, emotions, comments. Oh yeah, disappointed of course, but can't do much about it now. Just sink pack on Saturdays and sink cans and. Take photos. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> Take photos, um, yeah. Think yeah. It up. Don't want to make light of it. <laughs> but um, you do you know the boys back in the comp next to you in Div 5, is that yeah. confirmed? Yeah. Confirmed? Confirmed. Beautiful. Um, I'm wooden up, but I guess we just move on. Yeah. Uh, not a lot you can do or say, it's going to change anything. Yeah, not pretty much. Um, and 20 year life ban, is that set now in stone? There's no appeals or? No, you couldn't appeal, no. could you? No. <laughs> I don't think you could appeal. Uh, no, I wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> Um, yeah, he couldn't. <laughs> Honestly, why are we laughing? I don't know. Because uh, the appellate process. Yeah, awkward. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's comic. How about the finals that we've been having? They've been fantastic. It was week two of the finals, and um, these finals were hard to pick. How hard were they to pick? They were harder to pick than a broken nose. Um, <laughs> the twelfth man there. Not the bad. first one was Hectorville, eight goals, eight fifty six, knocking off Lockley, six eight forty four. I put my hand up. I thought Lockley would get the chocolates, even though it was at Hectorville. Boys, were your thoughts? Did you? Was I miles off? Or no, not really. Uh, Hectorville pretty uh, handy at their home ground. Uh, we found it extremely tough at their ground. On the smaller ground at Rosewater, we didn't have too much trouble against them. But I think if it was at Lockley's, they would have got up. But. Yep. And we're well, looking at the scoreline anyway. They yeah. were down all day. Heck, the building just yeah. got there. Got there in the end. So Lockley's a, a goal up at three quarter time, just the one point in the last quarter. And um, well, that's not going to do it, is it? Not at all. Um, it was something that I actually sorry, Tony. It was yeah. something that I said last week. If if Lockley's can do something similar to what we did at, at our home oval on the on the smaller side, that was able to stop. Hectorville from just popping that extra one to two people back into the hole and that's all they did and they're, they, they press up extremely high and lock the ball away. That's why you've seen throughout the year a lot of the scores for the opposition or anyone who's played Hectorville has been quite low yep. um, because they just choke choke the play and yep. they do it really, really well whereas Lockleys like to move the ball quite quickly. So it was it was a surprise to me but um, very well done to Hectorville and going straight into the big dance. Yeah, they've bounced back from uh, a few seasons of obscurity and um, when they're up and about, they tend to win premierships as well, Hectorville. So they've got that opportunity now, and they'll be in Division 4 next year. So well done to the boys. For Lockleys, Micken was the only multiple with two singles to Murphy, Patton, Ask Holy, and... <laughs> <laughs> That's how you say it, isn't it? Yeah. Ask, Ask Holy. Uh, oh, Ask yes. Holy. Well, okay. <laughs> and McDonough. Best players were Boast, Jones, Big Martinello, Voise, and Paton. And for Hectorville, their goal kickers were Mazzoni and Robinson with two and numerous singles and best players Mazzoni, Leek, Finchner, Broadbent, Fwaites and Engel. And following on from what you said there, uh, Trev, you look at the leading goal kickers and you don't see a Hectorville leading goal kicker in, you know, none of them's good. They do, so they just spread well, they're, they're playing good team brand of footy and that's, that'll hold you in good stead come... Uh, Late August, <laughs> September, this time of year. Pretty much, yeah, no, it's spread better, it's spread better than a hooker at Pondy, really. That's, that's how they do it. <laughs> but I've never been to Pondy. It, no, I've heard all about it. Um, <laughs> it's a uh, yeah, footy trip next year. Pondy, if it's on, I don't know. But uh, interesting news on Martinello going down with a knee injury, um, going in to have it looked at, arthroscope. Yep. Still, some people optimistic that he would be able to rejoin, but I highly doubt it. Yeah, highly doubt it. Yeah. I wish him all the best. Look, my mate went in, Big Steve went in the other day with knee bruising after our game, ACL. Wow. So it's, it, you know the, the knee is not something you really know. You've got to get it checked out. And, yeah. Um, next one, uh, Smithfield and Blackfriars. The final score uh, again for me. This is an upset. Smithfield 15, 18, 108. Blackfriars 14, 9, 93. Um, 14 points the difference at half time, and then Smithfield have just gone bang. Five goals, three to one straight goal and created the diff there and <laughs> and um, yeah but I guess Smithfield as well two goals eight in the first quarter probably had their chances to take control earlier no, I, I, yeah no and that's that's what I thought and I've had a look at some of the results over over the past as well and Smithfield seem to do this they have have they've had in some games they've had really good starts the majority of the games they've been a little bit slower and then after half time as you said they've just gone bang but um, 
once again, guys like Garner, um, Weber, and Abdullah in the in the best players again, yeah, there, which is yep. yeah, um, they're very very good. So I'll uh, keep on that with Smithfield. No Ashby named, I noticed. No. Um, so yeah, it's yeah. They've done well. Yeah, they've they're done very, very well. relying on those those same players every yeah. week. So, um, and, and again, credit to Smithfield from where they've come from, what they've been able to do to, to turn to turn the persona around. So, um, Weber kicked six, which is a fantastic effort. Nip, Nisbet with three, Grogan with two, um, a few of the other boys chipping in with one. And as I said earlier, Graham, Weber, Garner, Abdullah, and uh, the Wet Tower got the best players. Yeah, Wet Tower. Oh, that's very good. Um, just before you go on to Black Friars, got to mention it. Um, Straight sets. That's uh, yeah. your they're your rivals, aren't they? Black yeah, yeah, yeah. So you probably wouldn't be that sad, would you? No, I'd like to play them again next year. So yeah, it's, oh, well, well, works out yeah, well. Yeah, uh, they've well. been they've been round the market promotion and grand finals for the last few years, and they tend to fall over at the last hurdle, yeah. don't they? Um, not on the big dance, they didn't. They, they could have done that a few years ago. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Well, anyway, get take us through. Yeah, right, uh, you know. their best uh, goal kickers were Fetchner and uh, Hillman were free, and two to. Uh, the other Hillman Bradley and uh, Liliano and multiple singles as well and their best players were Fetchner, Bordololli, Hillman, Brinkat again, Sandico and Valenti. Oh, I like Sandicock. Gravel Dick, Gravel Dick. Yeah, so well done to Hillman as well, finishing the season with 53. Um, and Weber, um, with his six moves on to 78, he's actually the leader now, of course it's already decided, but not a bad effort. Two more games, 11 in each game, we cracked a ton. So where do Blackfriars have their after? Um, I know the answer to that because uh, it's at the uh, it's the Caledonian now. Oh, they've moved. Okay, it used to be on a uh, little square there, whatever that one was called. Yeah, uh, the square around the Wellington. corner. Wellington. Was it Wellington? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was the Wellington. Wellington. Yeah, that's right. Um, but yeah, okay, if they've moved the Caledonian, I believe you. Does it just bring spend as much time there at the at his home club? Drinks is what he does at opposition. He's just a really friendly guy. No, no, I, I love it. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. You don't see it very often. Yeah. Um, you get your, you guys that go into the token two beers and take off. Not two. Jeez. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Yes, us. He's really funny. No, I, I met him when he was a teenager. He came up to me. He's a big wrestling fan. Yeah, he's, he's a he's a ripper. Good lad. Anyway, um, this week we've got a very big game. It's a preliminary final. It's a rematch from last year's Division 6 Grand Final. Um, I can't believe these two are here, are here in the second of the last week, or penultimate week of the year. Um, it's Lockleys for me. I think, oh yeah, this one's, this one's a tough one for me to, for me to choose. I mean, it, I, th I think with the loss of Martinello is going to hurt Lockleys a lot um, because they do have a fair amount of reliance on him around the ground. I think I think for Lockleys with the loss of Martinello is going to be hard. That gap's going to be um, hard to fill. Um, but for again, likes like Garner and those guys patrolling around half back, I think they'll be I think they'll be a little bit too strong. So I'm I'm going to go for Smithfield on this one at Lockleys. Yep, yep. I'm agreeing with you as well, Trev. I reckon Smithfield will get up here. Uh, but so I wouldn't be surprised if Lockleys did get up at all. Yeah, look, I think the brains behind Lockleys' operation, Wayne Knowles, will have a few tricks up his sleeve. A few of the boys that had the European holidays are back. I see Shawnee Crowes floating around again. Jason Heath has uh, taken some time off his personal training um, to, to have a game of footy, which is nice. And there's enough quality amongst that list. Voisey, Jones, Mick and Murphy, Ascoli, <laughs> uh, Delulio. I think Lockleys, they're a good galvanised group. And they'll want revenge for last year, and they'll get it this week at Rutland Avenue Lockleys. That's my tip. You've given your tips. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back next week. Sal. Yeah.